Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Mr. Grable's Grade 3 Math Class. Today we're going to continue practicing our estimating of differences, and we are on the practice page, page 51, 5 tens, and 1 1. And here we go. We have what looks like a graph here to me, and you need to estimate each difference. So you're actually not going to put Actually, I'm not going to put the difference you're going to estimate. Remember, that's what we're practicing here. Okay, so 1A, we have the problem and the estimate. So, all I'm going to do right off the bat, boys and girls, is I'm going to underline, or you could highlight, all the digits in the ones place. It's all about the ones place. And really, if you wanted to even, you could go, you could do something like this. Watch this. 5 means round up. And... Four means round down. Okay, there you go. That's basically all this is. Okay, 72 means you round down, so it's still 70. 31 means we round down, so it's still 30. There you go. It's as simple as that. 58, whoop, up to 60. Minus 19, up to 20. 67 up to 70, 38 up to 40, 98 ooh, up to 100, 43 ooh, down to 40, and 59 up to 60, and 18 up to 20. First graph done. Okay, now you can try B, of course, same idea, keep those same strategies, and then we have some questions. Now, I'm going to do question two with you. You can give three and four and stretch your thinking and try. Um, two says, <coughs> it's me, the estimated difference of two numbers is 25. What might the numbers be? Give two possible answers. Now, the truth is, we could give a billion or more possible answers, I'm pretty sure, or maybe not. Oh yeah, well yeah, sure we could. Because we could say 1 billion 25 minus 1 billion equals 25. Right? We could say 1,025 minus 25. Oops. 1,025 minus 1,000 equals 25. So, I mean, there are an incredible number of answers for this. But I just wanted to show you how that's what it meant. Something subtract something equals 25. Because we're looking for the difference, the estimated difference of two numbers. So let's start with the easiest ones. 25 subtract 0. I don't even know if that's an estimate though. I don't that's almost that's almost too easy. Let's take that one away. That's too easy. Let's not even use that one. And we are estimating, so we should we should have a zero at the end. But how about a little harder? 35 subtract 10 equals 25, right? Because you take one ten away. There you go. The other one I was thinking of was doubles, because I'm always thinking doubles. But you'd probably go 50. Well, see, that's the thing with the estimate. 50 doubles probably wouldn't work so good. Let's go with 55 then. Now, how many tens would you have to take off to get... Basically, it's 5 to take away 2, so it's 30. Or about 30 to get down to 25. So there you go. Estimating sums, differences. Always a good idea to get about the right answer. And that will help you to understand your math better. Have a great day. Bye-bye.